Hey everyone, this video will be about how to create a dynamic list view inside of Salesforce. And so this is something that's really helpful to do when you have a lookup field on one object. So in this case, I'm gonna use the account object and we can see we have the Burlington Textiles Corp of America here. And there's a field called lead advisor. And this field is a lookup to the user record. And I'm gonna put in the name Maria Thompson here, which is just a, a fake user in this environment. And what you'll notice is if we go and look at our list of accounts, and then we were to add in that name here for the lead advisor to the list view. Maybe bump it up here next to the phone. Um, you'll see that there are different lead advisors for different accounts. So one of them is for Maria, and then one of them is for me. And you know, we could go through all the different accounts here and just kind of add them in. Maybe we give Maria a couple, then maybe we give myself a couple. And what you'll find is that if there are only like 14 accounts, as in this uh, environment, you know, it's not that hard to manage. But if you have, you know, hundreds of records, for example, or maybe even dozens, that it can be kind of um, hard to do a filter on just the lead advisor field. For example, if you wanted to create a list view that showed a particular user all of the records where they were the lead advisor, the way you would have to do that um, without this trick I'm about to show you is by clicking add filter and then typing in you know the lead advisor field and then just saying equals Nick Freights or whoever the user's name is. And that doesn't really work if you have you know uh, dozens of users that may be lead advisors. Um, and what you're really trying to achieve here is a list view that no matter who is looking at it will show them the records where they are the lead advisor. And so that's what we're, we're going to build now. And uh, I'm just going to close this out. And the only thing you'll need to have is that lookup field uh, already created. So um, that will be uh, the only requirement for this. And what I'm going to do is from the account page, I'm just going to click the edit object. And this will work on really any object in Salesforce. So you could uh, repeat this process on whatever object you're working with. But what we're going to do is we're going to click fields and relationships, and then we're going to click new. And we're going to make a formula field and we're going to use this formula to filter on records dynamically and so for the return type i like to pick number i suppose you could do a boolean or you know some other type but i just do number and um, just i'll call this lead advisor formula this isn't going to go on any page layouts it's not designed to be seen by any of the end users it's really just meant uh, for us as admins to use when we are creating these filtered views and so um, with that said, you can definitely change the name of that to be you know, whatever you think is most appropriate. So I'll press next here. And then this is the critical part of you know, how we're gonna set things up. We're gonna use an if statement. So we'll do if open parenthesis, and then just to make it easier to read, I'll you know, create some new lines there. And just to make it easy to follow along, I'm gonna click insert field. And then I'm gonna use my mouse and click on this uh, cash money sign uh, user and that means that the current user is going to be referenced and we're going to say that the current user um, user id and we're going to press insert and so now what this formula will do is we'll say if the current user id and then we can do some extra logic and so we'll use an equal sign and press space and then we'll insert another field and if you had to guess what field i'm going to pick hopefully you were thinking it's the lead advisor that's right and what this is really saying is if the current user ID is the lead advisor, our formula will output the number one. Otherwise, it will output the number zero. And then I'm gonna do a closing parenthesis. And maybe I can just get rid of the, the line break there. So our formula is if open parenthesis, uh, the dollar sign, user.id. And again, this is just a Salesforce provided syntax to reference the current running user. So two different people looking at this the formula will change the result based on who's looking at it. And we're saying if the user ID equals the lead advisor of a particular account, then this formula will return the number one, otherwise it will return the number zero. So I'm just gonna press next. And we'll just make it visible to all the profiles and I'm not going to add it to any layouts and press save. Of course, in your own environment, you can feel free to add it to layouts. Um, the main purpose is we wanna have that field visible to every profile so that we can go back into our list view. If I can find it here, we can open up um, the all accounts list view. And I'm gonna click on list view controls here. I'm gonna cl clone this. 
and I'll just call it My Lead Advisor Accounts will be the new name of the list view, My Lead Advisor Accounts. And we'll let all users see it. We'll press save. And now we can apply that filter. So you'll see on the right, the filters tab kind of opens up. Uh, we're gonna filter by every account in Salesforce, and then we're gonna add a filter where the lead advisor formula, that formula we just created, equals one. And I'll press done. Now when I save this, I want you to pay attention to what's happening to the list view here. You'll see that there are currently a bunch of uh, accounts in here with different lead advisors. Some have my name, some have Maria Thompson, and then some are empty. When I press save, the list view will reevaluate, re and it's only gonna show those accounts where the formula has evaluated and returned the output of the number one. And remember, the reason it's outputting one is because the current user, who is me, is uh, matched, is equal to the lead advisor field. And so what we can do to test this um, is we could actually log in as Maria and see if she sees you know, a different uh, set of accounts when she looks at this same list view. So we'll do that now. We'll just click users. And uh, you know I already have the users page open here, so feel free to follow along. And I'm gonna press login. And we'll just log in as Maria Thompson. And I'll just have to pick an app. Hopefully this, oh, okay counts and then we'll go to uh, the same list view that we were using which is my lead advisor accounts and we can see that Maria has a list of four records which are different than the four records that I had I don't know yeah okay so this is my list view and then this is Maria's list view for comparison and you can see that the accounts are different and so again the, the filtering there is just uh, the uh, list view is looking at that formula and that formula is just returning one or zero based on who the lead advisor is and if they are matched to the current user. And so the takeaway here is you can use this formula approach in list views and reports. It's really helpful everywhere in Salesforce and uh, will cut down on the number of list views you have to create for your end users.